What's going on, y'all, man? It's official. Dre live. You know, subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. You feel me? We're uh, reacting to some more NBA knowledge or NBA news. It says breaking news. Giannis Kumbo says he wants to play with LeBron in AD. Now, I don't know if this is true. I don't know nothing. We're going to react together. Obviously, my reactions are live. So, uh, subscribe to the channel if you knew. A comment down below, something or a way that I can improve on my channel. Anyway, man, without further ado, you know, any more hold up, let's get into it. If and when Giannis and Dedekumpo, he does re sign with the Bucks. An offer has been on the table for a while now, and he still has not signed. And there's been a lot of speculation. Will he stay? Will he go? Is he even willing to join other superstars? Well, during media day today, Giannis might have given us a clue. I'm going to fill you in on everything you need to know and more title. in this next segment. trending within the next few hours after this video does drop because what Giannis Antetokounmpo just said in media day already has the NBA world speculating that he may be gone so we're definitely going to break it down in its entirety but before we get into that make sure to leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I post it all on the note and it's pop does go to to this video of both i do not think he's the best player there's about five to seven guys in the league that i would probably take over Giannis at this point but with that being said when you look Jeez. at what he did do last season both offensively and defensively for his team he definitely deserved the mvp the defensive player of the year yeah you could say it's a little bit debatable but i'm still not going to say that he didn't deserve it so the bucks they had the mvp they had the defensive player of the year they had the best record in the nba and i know what you guys are thinking oh wait but it's only because Giannis got injured during that playoff series well to be honest the miami heat they were already smacking the milwaukee bucks by the time that no Giannis cap did get injured no cap at all out of here. then when you look at the scenario of how next year it's going to be even tougher in the eastern conference because you got kd and kyrie coming back fully healthy and that's the team that i do believe if fully healthy i believe they will be going to the nba finals next year if you're Giannis, you got beat by the team that isn't even going to be your toughest competition come next year so there's clearly a decision to be made here now the Bucks this offseason they did put the offer on the table they're trying to give him a max deal however Giannis, he still has not signed the extension and he does have until december 21st to do so and again this is all relevant to what's happening today you also look at the fact that the milwaukee bucks they dropped the ball they were able to get drew holiday which i do think is a great pickup for Giannis. however and i'm not sure if you guys heard about it because it was reported a few days ago but i didn't see it get any press it was actually reported that Giannis he was a little bit upset after the bucks lost bodon bogdanovich bodon was quote unquote his preferred player that he wanted in the offseason and if you look at bodon Bodon's numbers here, I mean, it's not surprising why. But in that whole fiasco, the Bucks they lost Bodon. And guys, these are all things that lead us to what happened today. Now today, December 1st, Giannis, he had a lot to say during media day. Now first, he talked about LeBron James. He spoke on who is the best player in the world. He spoke on last year's MVP race. He said, yeah, LeBron is the best in the world. MVP though, that's another story. I can tell that he's the best and he's my idol. He's 17 years in the league. Now he said a lot more, but I just want to say to that point, when you look at what both Giannis and LeBron did, and then you look at the team surrounding them and their production, the second best player and all that, I mean, quite honestly, Giannis deserved it. But then he continues and see, this is where things get a little confusing. He says, hey, if LeBron, KD, or Anthony Davis want to join me in Milwaukee, I will be happy. I don't care about being number one. I don't care about being number two or number three. At the end of the day, I'm focused on winning. Kobe Bryant told me that if I want to win and be great, I have to sacrifice. Wow, we definitely got to break this down, guys. Giannis literally just said that he would be happy to play with LeBron, Anthony Davis, or KD. He doesn't care about being the number one option, the number two option, the number three option. But he so also said in Milwaukee. I repeat, Giannis just said that he wants to play with LeBron, KD, or Anthony Davis, and he doesn't care if he's one, two, or three. Could this be a clue of Giannis potentially leaving next year in free agency? Guys, something that's in. He said in Milwaukee. If they're, the chances of them going to Milwaukee are slim to none. 
Oh, that's why it's a video. Interesting here is that I'm not sure if you guys heard last week it was reported that Anthony Davis, he not only was holding off on signing his deal, you know, to kind of see where his Laker team made sign and stuff like that, the ones who are free agents. He wasn't only doing that to help the Lakers right now in this offseason. It was reported that Anthony Davis, he was also holding off because he was waiting to see what happens with Giannis. You can clearly tell between Anthony Davis and LeBron James, they have no problem signing these one plus one deals now obviously they're still getting paid a great amount but i can guarantee you anthony davis and lebron they're hearing that today and they're like oh okay but because you mean to tell me Giannis and Tedekumpo, he is letting it be known. Yeah, I'm down to play with LeBron and Anthony Davis, and I'll even be the third guy or the fourth guy. You pair that with what was reported about Anthony Davis. You pair that with the fact that he talked about sacrificing, and he's been clear. His focus now, it's winning. They lost Bodon in that deal. That was Giannis and Tedekumpo's preferred guy. Reportedly, he was a little bit upset by that. His Supermax deal has been on the table since pretty much the season ended. He's got 20 days to sign that extension. And see, guys, it's also interesting here. And also, as you're watching, make sure to like this video because it truly does help the channel grow and the videos get out to the public. But yeah, it's I heard also the man. interesting that he named KD. If you think about it, guys, again, like I said in the intro here, the Bucks got absolutely smacked this year by the Miami Heat, and that's not even going to be the toughest team in the East this year. Fully healthy, the Brooklyn Nets will be the best team in the Eastern Conference. And now Giannis is saying that he doesn't mind playing with KD either and that he's willing to be the second or the third guy. Y'all know that Kyrie Irving right now, he's hearing that. KD's hearing that. And they're like, oh, word. Giannis wants to play with us and he'll be the third option all right but from this point i do not care what is spoken about what is not spoken about i can guarantee you the guys on the brooklyn nets the guys on the lakers they're taking huge note of what Giannis is saying today and see this is that interesting place that we saw the greats like lebron like kevin durant we saw them get to a place where yes they had achieved success individually but they didn't get that chip they stayed with their original team for so long they played their heart out they won mvps with that team can't lie guys they're there's a lot of similarities right now. I babied now, point out the fact and say, well, Giannis is saying that those guys will come to Milwaukee. He's talking about those guys coming to Milwaukee. Guys, what he's talking about is all encompassing. There's a reason why he's talking about sacrificing, specifically focusing on winning now. What Kobe Bryant taught him. Now, true, we also got to point out Kobe Bryant, he stayed with the same team his entire career. Yes, there were different times where he potentially could have left, but he didn't. Today is December 1st. If December 15th comes and Giannis has still not signed the contract, things are about to get really interesting in the NBA. And you got to remember, LeBron already told you he's not trying to get the guys you got to develop, taking a few years developing them. No. LeBron, he said that he wants to play with the best players. Um... He said it. Ask me, uh, he said I like it. to play with Kevin Durant? Ask me right now. Would you like to play with Kevin Durant? Absolutely. Ask me if I like to play with Jimmy Butler. Say Would it right now. Ask Butler? me about Kyrie Irving, Giannis. Ask me about Embiid, Ben Simmons. Go ahead. All of them. Luka Doncic. Ask me right now. Come on, guys. It's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not rocket science. These are great players. Absolutely. Uh, I would love to play with a lot of great players. That's just who I am. Um, so... You know, people get caught up in, you know, get caught up in bunches, you know, sometimes when they, they wish they can control what you say and they can't control me at all. And I play by the rules. All right, appreciate Thanks, it. Everyone. So I hope you guys realize, with Giannis saying this, if there is any chance the Lakers can get a Giannis and Kumpo, who if you look at the additions of an Anthony Davis, you look at the rest of the talent on their team, those guys are actually going to help extend LeBron's career. And if LeBron James can get a Giannis and Kumpo, now LeBron will damn near be playing until he's about 50. Now if Giannis goes and pairs with KD, I think that the Brooklyn Nets would actually beat the Lakers in. The Lakers are my pick for the championship this year, just like they were last year. And it has nothing to do with being a Laker fanboy. The Lakers are not my team. But when you look at matchups, you look at the Lakers who have two of the top five dominant forces in the NBA. I'm just saying these things from a matchup and basketball perspective. But if Giannis were to mess around and go to Brooklyn, it's going to be pretty much over for the NBA for <laughs> years to come. And I can guarantee you guys this. Watch the vibe of how people talk about how Giannis mentioned LeBron and AD. 
how people talk about the possibilities of him going to the Lakers, what they say about LeBron, what they say about Anthony Davis, and then compare that to how whenever they talk about him potentially going to join KD, how they talk about KD. We are going to see a lot of bias with that. But right now, you do see two videos on your screen. If you're a basketball purist, you like to take a deeper Man, anyway, bro, that's going to be the reaction, but this is real interesting. I really want to see where this goes. But anyway, comment down below a way I can improve on my channel, bro. Like you said, man, there's some videos on the screen, but I keep watching the content anyway, bro. Y'all know who it is. Until next time, man. Peace.